Good morning, Mary here from Change is Always Possible and I'm following on from the video I made about fatigue where I talked about there being two phases to what goes on with us, the stress phase and the restoration regeneration phase and I just wanted to move that discussion on a little bit to talk about how that, we call that the disease process. Um, that there's this, we've got normal life, the sort of daily undulations of getting up, getting going, getting on with your day. So there's a certain sort of level of, you could say stress, but um, you know, hormones, that get us up, cortisol increases, we get going, we get on with our day, we get on with daily living. And then by the evening time, the melatonin um, is kicking in and our body is getting ready for rest and restoration overnight and all sorts of amazing things go on in that rest period. So these two phases of life, that daytime activity time and the nighttime rest time and restore time are um, that's the pattern if you like of our biology and it works if we're <laughs> aligned and more aligned we are with the rhythm of the whole planet of nature of the cycles of and um, the seasons and the night and daytime and of course we humans are messing about with that mightily, um, you know, not living aligned with these rhythms and not even aware of them in ourselves. Anyway, so we have that normal day-to-day -day rhythm of living in which our biology is doing all sorts of interesting things um, to enable us to continue, you know, to live and hopefully to thrive. So, and then what can happen, as I described in the fatigue video, is something can happen that sends us into higher than normal stress, something outside of the, the normal, something, you know, that was unexpected, we didn't see it coming, we weren't pre prepared, we don't know how to deal with it, and it whoom, whooshes us up into much higher stress, and the body adapts. And the adaptations the body makes are intelligent, and they, um, it's, they don't just turn up randomly. Um, you know, our, our, um, we're much more clever than that, or, um, much more sophisticated um, ecosystem. So the, the way that the body reacts in that stress phase, apart from the normal stress reactions um, that are there for fight flight, they, in a, yeah, when we've had something shocking happen, or an intense emotional event, we will, our, our biology will be reacting depending on how we've perceived that shocking event. Did we see it as a threat to our survival? Did we see it as an attack? On our integrity? Did we feel unable to perform in some way, unable to do something? Did we um, find ourselves wanting separated from something? You know, there's lots and lots of different perceptions of such an event. And in fact, we, we could all have the same event and have a different perception of it because we're an accumulation of everything that's happened to us before. And that then informs how we view the things that happen to us. And this is really crucial because the perception and the meaning we make out of this shocking event that happens to us, this, you know, more than normal stress, then determines which tissues in the body react and go into the stress phase of disease, go into trying to help us adapt and survive the, the perceived threat um, and so when we come out of that stress phase those same tissues are the ones that will then need restored and brought back into homeostasis and that actually is more often not always though but more often when actual symptoms appear um, 
and uh, when the repair is being done. And, you know, a simple example is, you know, if we cut our finger, so there's been a stress that cut and maybe initially we're like, we don't feel anything in the stress. And then when it starts to repair, we feel it, you know, it's red, it's throbbing, it might get pussy even, um, it's swollen and sore and painful. And that process we trust usually just our body deals with it, it goes through the process and writes itself and yeah we may be left with some scarring um, so we can scale that idea up that um, to all the tissues in the body react in a similar way in that they do something in the stress phase and then they do something in the restoration phase and a meta practitioner has been trained to understand what tissues do what in which phase. And that's why it's really important that we understand what your actual symptoms are, what the actual diagnosis is, so we can understand which tissues in the body have been are activated and doing something. And then um, our training tells us which tissues are react more reactive and will produce symptoms in a stress phase and which will produce symptoms in a restoration phase. So we can help you to start to understand more about what your body is doing and why it's doing it. Anyway, I'll just keep on with these explanations and we'll see how it all unfolds. Um, if you want to know more about me and what I'm up to, you, you can check out my website, www.changesalwayspossible.com. I'm also on Facebook at Change Is Always Possible and on Telegram at Radical Self Care. And um, yeah, or, you know, you can ask me questions, happy to try and answer them. And you can also, you could book a consultation with me if you wanted to talk through um, what might be going on with you. Okay, bye.